My name's Guy Kestevern. I've been a bike geek for decades, professional tester for 25 years, and Bespoke Handbuilt Bicycle Show has rolled into town. So, I've disguised myself as a hipster, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna see probably lots of facial hair, slim tubes, and beautiful artisanal uh, building. Let's go. Right, so to be honest, I've spent far long talking to people from, well, from the different brands and from the industry. Uh, it's now the public have all come in, so it's gonna be really noisy, and I'm not sure how the GoPro's gonna like the lighting in here either. But we're gonna do a whistle stop tour through some, it's, I'm really impressed. Uh, I was gonna be a bit cynical if I'm honest uh, about what I was gonna find in here, but there's some really, really beautiful bikes made by people who really care about what they're doing. So we'll start with some of the classics and then talk through some of the interesting stuff as well from uh, some of the newer builders. So we have uh, down the south coast, tested bikes from them before. Always a beautiful riding bike. Uh, won the group test I did for Cycling Plus. They've got road and they've got mountain bike here, the new trail hardtail, so uh, definitely worth going and seeing them. Angles look fully sorted in that and uh, lovely custom paint as helm for. And, uh, Obviously titanium as well as steel in their range, so definitely worth coming to see these guys. Ricky Feather from York, some absolutely beautiful dealing, detailing. I mean, primarily road bike building, but look at that DI2 routine. And then, so much of there on that carbon fiber. Seat tube and uh, seat collar top. Again, just in the paintwork. It's a mirror iridescent finish. And, then, uh... and lovely to see Ricky stand busy as well, because uh, I spoke to him a couple of years back and he actually didn't have many orders on the books, despite the fact he's, you know, he's one of the most beautiful uh, hand-built frame builders, one of the most skilled ones around. Uh, he wasn't, you know, he's kind of got swamped by a lot of newer brands, so... Uh, yeah, great to see these bikes uh, getting the attention they deserve and right up in front of the uh, right up in front of the show, start of the show. This is what you come in when you see when you come in. So you've got the TT bike there and then SNS Company bike as well. And just, you know, just so much paint on that. That's just a lot. Condor as well from Grazing Road down in London. Again, other bikes that I've tested for Cycling Plus and others and just beautiful uh, tubing blends they put together for them and uh, yeah. you know and a full price range as well the fact they you know they're all hand built bikes uh, you're going from uh, a Fratello at more entry level and then right through to the I never know how to say this but the uh, Chio uh, stainless bike and that's that's full custom custom colour custom spec custom geometry and just the detailing on the uh, little bits of uh, map to stainless steel there, shot in steep stays. Just a beautifully built bike. And they work with an Italian frame builder for these as well. And uh, interesting trivia fact, although they haven't got any mountain bikes here, uh, Sammy from Stiff, who built the Squatch, he was uh, basically trained at Condor in, uh, in the art of building his frames. And there you go, full range through road, touring, and then through uh, full uh, bike. And this is the Campag stand, but here you've got a version of the Vielo uh, V Plus One Generation Two Special Edition uh, Chapter Three David Miller collaboration uh, with Campag Eco, and this uh, limited edition uh, frame set and fork colour just for the Chapter Three collection. They launched that at uh, CRT Europe in Girona, so uh, nice to see that on the Campag stand. Uh, Showing up the Pete Bird from I'm Swallow sure, I'm sure it's and beautiful. Bicycles by Design with beautiful iron bridge, uh, pinion gearbox drive. It'll take a e-motor as well when you want to upgrade to that. Belt drive on the far side and then that beautiful iron bridge detail in there on the seat stays. And uh, the iron bridge name on there. And a nice sort of swept multi position bar on top. And then more conventional road to touring bike over here as well. And of course, uh, these are the guys who put my tandem together, so I'm actually going to bring that down to the show. <laughs> Lean it up in the corner, aren't I, Pete? John from Just Riding Alongs here with his handmade wheel sets. Definitely worth going and seeing to uh, sort out 
your uh, your annular needs, I would say. Good show so far? Yeah. yeah Seems like it's getting busier, doesn't it? It is now, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, if you're familiar with my group test work, you'll know that John's wheels have won a whole load of stuff. So, uh, yeah. Very, very smart guy when it comes to putting together wheels. And I have to say, one of the bikes, a couple of the bikes really, really caught my eye on the clandestine stand uh, frame builder from down in Bristol. You've got this kind of trail bike y bike packing bike with the uh, frame bag in there and room for a mega flask as well. Now, classic layout, really nicely executed, right down to this super short custom sky stem. But this is the beauty, this kind of long wheelbase, almost cargo bike, touring bike, fat bike combo. Again, massive keg storage in there, you've got 853 cranks, and this, this, this is the win here. This amazing uh, truss fork with the bike plane crowns in there, and a double curse down on the dropouts, which just made the whole fork. I was just talking to uh, frame builder over there, he said that uh, made the whole thing a bit of a nightmare to do, uh, to build actually, but yeah, the results are pretty damn stunning. So this kind of epitomizes sort of the bespoke handmade show for me. The amount of detailing and workmanship has gone into this. And then I think if you want full on kind of multicolour indulgence, the prize has to go to this dear Susan from uh, Revit Cycles. Uh, well, just take a look, everything from the uh, Velocity rims with the dual anodizing on, right up to this paint job here. This mix of kind of graffiti and raw, and then I don't even know what these QRs are, but these are gorgeous. And a classic old B17 on top, and I mean, these bars, where do I even start? That looks like a titanium kind of Jones meets drop bar, and then a custom painted loud fork. Pretty sure that ticks all the boxes, and uh, yeah. Rust never sleeps, and to be fair, I think your eyes are going to need a rest after staring at this for too long, but what I like is the fact that the same guys who do this also do this absolute classic uh, sort of René Hearst, almost, you know, 1930s French Audax inspired uh, Brandon Air bike, you know, right down to the beautiful little titanium wraps on there, old school panties, you know, gum levers, and, you know, just really, some really nice detail in there. There's a little real light on the stage and that classic kind of Doors Galaxy colourway as well. Yeah, I do know, again, I just like the fact that the same brand can produce all these different diverse so Guys from Wizardworks will sort you out whether you want stealthy camo for your, uh, you know, minimalist bikepacking endeavours or if you want to go full 90s local motion flashback horror for those of us who lived through those turbulent times. Uh, you know, Wizardworks full range of super durable 1000D Cordura bags, you know, really, really built to last. And again, you know, big range of designs, big range of uh, different bags as well. A lot of other brands as well, we've got Alfano, we've got Spoon, we've got Cheetah Lee, the retro component specialists. We've got Shan, the Scottish guys, you know, they've been producing bikes like Stota, Shug, Stooshi, just range of classic bikes uh, that kind of started, almost started, you know, these guys were doing kind of gravel and all road well before anyone else, bikes like the Stucci and Stota, very, very early on, and, you know, before this became kind of a mass produced and mass bike. Going full enduro with the guys from uh, Rideworks and Cole, this multi uh, adjustable 160 mil travel enduro bike, it comes out running well it, got 853 frame set, you've got some really really nice detailing, beautiful frame work on it, and of course, as it's the bespoke show, you've got a Brooks Cambium saddle on there, and it's a limited edition copper one as well, so we've got running on the tandem, but yeah, and then CNC machining on these leaf gears, he's gone by the guys of Rideworks, so they just flip around here, Another UK CNC machining componentry, and they've got this raw frame here as well. So yeah, it's not it's not just road bikes and gravel bikes here, and it's not just metal bikes either. We've even got some wooden ones uh, with Tumpa. And you got and you got components to look at as well. We've got Luke and Nick here from Presenti. That. And even then, even on the component stands, you've got some really nice pieces of. 
Oh yeah. You've got bare frame supplies with the dropouts there if you're thinking of building your own. You got Rory with Thompson and a custom Kinesis bike there. And then you got Rafi if you're an hard rock enduro or hard moors rider, you'll know all about Rafi on his trials bike. And uh, yeah, this the new uh, 20 gauge and 12 gauge and the uh, 410 gauge at uh, Harto. As I tell, it's beautiful to stay there. Uh, little known fact Rafi was fastest through the speed trap at Fort William in 2015. On a 29 er mountain bike? 2013. 13? High pivot 29er. High pivot 29er. High pivot there you go. Rafi's been there, done it, seen it. And uh, yeah, he's getting his. They're coming up to production now, aren't they? Are they in production yet? Three nights ago, I like so. Yeah. No, these. Yeah, these are. Sweet. So yeah, mountain bikes, really, really beautiful made. Radical Yorkshire mountain bikes. And uh, yeah, and there's the guys from Moss over there with the crazy speed machine, uh, which we had at the Harry Cycle Show. We got all the SRAM folks, there's Mick and there's Stewie and we got this howler bike here with this ridiculously high bottom bracket but you know super complicated linkage in there as well. Been showing up on the SRAM stand, you've got another of Rafi's bikes here, gravel bike, and then this kind of mad touring bike which combines SRAM axis uh, mullet with a uh, time trial chain ring and a hydraulic reverb post and full restrap luggage because why not and why not match your gravel cream tires to your purple paint and this is the very angle and as you can see 65 to 75 degree head tube angle for changing your uh, climbing attitude and your overall geometry but because it's on an extended radius so the virtual pivot point is kind of basically out here what it doesn't do is change the ride height at all. So you just you just unlock it there, and then wind that, and up she steepens, ready to tackle those. You're based in the South Downs, aren't you? Is that right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so uh, for Butzer Hill, that's the setting you want to be uh, yeah, okay. aiming for. Yeah. And then uh, full sun up, I beam plate alloy construction all the way through. Box piggyback at the rear. And then, so single pivot with a linkage and brass pivots on it as well. So super durable. And then split concentric bearing at the rear there. So, so fascinating bikes here. And this is the very angle, yeah? Sorry, yeah, yeah, you so are. My name's Peter Sharno. Peter Sharno. And it's very angle. Yeah. Definitely worth coming in down and having a look. We've got Wee Strap, and we've got Frame Builders Common, we've got a full selection of different independent builders here. All sorts of weird and wonderful detailing going on. Bike plane rear ends, super high bike. Yeah, I guess this is kind of more of what I was expecting. And then this is, uh, these are the guys from Cybro. I was talking to them earlier. So, uh, hi, sorry. Uh, this is their soft tail uh, pinion drive mountain bike frame. So a built in flex into the carbon fiber there. Uh, they do their whole, whole uh, carbon fiber manufacturing in house. Got a split pivot there on that little coaxial uh, junction there, so you can get a shaft drive, so you can get a belt drive in it, that's your belt drive pinion, and then up front you've got full on in 10 4. They've got some uh, conventional pinion, well, I mean, conventional pinion drive, that's not really a thing, but you've got conventional uh, road bikes as well with this beautiful kind of carbon unmatched detailing there, and then these are some of the showstopper road bikes. You've got CNC machine dropouts there again with their own carbon fibre tubing layup and proper futuristic Battlestar Galactica uh, bottom bracket cradle in there. And again, you know, really reminds me of the old wound up forks, but it's really nice. You know, it's lovely to see, you know, not just steel. Uh, again, some really interesting artisan carbon fibre from. Uh, Kind of the bike centre of Italy, isn't it? You're from Northern Italy, that's correct. Yeah, I'm isn't from Bassano yeah. de Grappa, yes. Yeah. So, thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you. And of course, you know, handmade doesn't have to mean uh, lo fi. The guys from Hope hand built uh, all 
where Calm Prime bikes. So this is the latest prototype. It's the uh, high pivot bike, so let's swim around and see the live train there. Developed, uh, it'll be more than my top enduro races, so itching to go and have a go on this as soon as I can. I've already been racing at EWS in Finale, as you can see, full O-Lins. Uh, and, good news, as far as I'm concerned, they've gone for a uh, carbon fibre chainstay on there, so a lot stiffer than the alloy bikes that I've ridden previously. And then of course you've got the Hope Olympic track bike. Always incredible to... Uh, sorry, no, this is the Hope Olympic time trial bike actually. Always incredible to see this in the flesh. You know, massive super wide clearance around the tyres on that bike plane fog. Nips in at the axles. And then this is what makes this a rare. This is actually the geared version. But again, you've still got that super wide hoop at the rear stage there. So the airflow is fully channeled and directed for aerodynamic purposes. And then, you know, I think you've already seen the XV130 build videos, but there's the mould going to the autoclave. And then, and then we've got guys from Riley showing off a full range bike, including, it's really interesting, a two speed power shift hub. So, oh, cheers, John. John's going to do the honours. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you can feel that through the pedal. That is really interesting. Again, you know, beautiful framework on the tyres, both titanium and steel. So, there we go. Uh, that's a quick rundown of kind of some of the highlights of Bespoke Show here in Harrogate. So. Massive thanks to Zero Cycling for sponsoring the channel, uh, PEs and CRUD as well. Uh, thanks to the press team here for letting me in. Thanks to all the guys I've chatted to today. Uh, come in, find your own gems, find your own favourites. Let me know what you think of the various things you've seen in this video in the comments, or if you're coming down, talk to me in the comments as well. But yeah, definitely worth dropping down to Bespoke in Harrogate. And uh, if you're here on Sunday, I'll probably be prowling around again. So might see you then. Or I might see you on the uh, SRAM gravel or road rides on Saturday morning at a prologue. 8.30 in the morning if you want to come and join them. But yeah, so thanks. For now, I've been Guy Kestevan on Guy Kest TV at the Bespoked Handbuilt Bicycle Show in Harrogate.